as with every profession, it's an obligation of teachers to continue to learn through their careers. Like, we're not finished learning when we graduate from college. This is a very complex line of work. And it's, of course, very important. But it's also very challenging, demanding, and, and highly complex in an intellectual sense. It, teaching is a thinking person's job. If you think for a second about a traditional observation sequence, and let's say you're the observer and I'm the teacher, you come to my class, you watch me teach, you take notes, you go away. You write up your notes, you come back, and you tell me about my teaching. Now, I would just ask, who's doing the work? You. What am I doing? Nothing. Well, I'm teaching my class. I am under contract to do that. But for this process, what am I doing? Zip. And that actually gets worse. Now we're, we're in your office talking about this lesson. I know from the standpoint of that conversation, all I actually have to do is endure it. You will eventually stop talking. And I can leave. Right, so, I mean, we shouldn't be surprised that teachers don't learn anything from that process. I mean, it's exactly what we should expect, given how we do it. And so, the value then of, of having informal professional conversations that are not about feedback, they're not, about, they're not judgmental. They are really an exploration of that lesson and how it could have even been better than it was. Informal conversations beg for exactly that kind of dialogue.